Hi, this is the Week in Music for Upstate New York with Stephen Alley, and this is the Week in Music. This week we attended Camp Bisco, Warp Tour in Scranton, Pennsylvania. I went to Mayhem Fest. And we both went to see Odd Future at uh, Upstate Concert Hall. It was pretty dope. It was pretty dope. <laughs> so let's talk about the Camp Bisco experience. We went for the third day out of three. It was a Saturday. It was a great show. Um, a lot of really great headliners, Zedstead, Maddion, Grammatic. Uh, Disco Biscuits, Passion Pit, it was phenomenal. And the cool thing is it's held on an Indian campground, so everything is super laid out. It's a beautiful area, it's nice and open, nice and airy. And everybody's just really happy and exciting. So let's talk about Mayhem Fest. Mayhem Fest. Uh, aside from the $13 a can beers, uh, Mayhem Fest was pretty cool. The first opener, Aaron and Marth, came out on a ship that had a dragon head and it blew smoke out. My and right after that, it was actually Mastodon, and I've been hearing of that band for a really long time, and I don't think I've ever listened to them, but it was pretty awesome. They're very talented. Um, you can tell they've been doing it for a really long time. They just don't even care. They don't even think they're on stage. They feel like they're in the bathroom brushing their teeth. After that was Five Finger Death Punch, who I was super excited to see because they, I know, have an insane show, and their light show was beautiful. I didn't even have to work. Like, they had beautiful lighting, and all I just had to do was take pictures. And right after them was Rob Zombie. Clearly, you know, his setup was ridiculous. But at the end, they actually had confetti and streamers and smoke and fog. And it was, uh, Sounds awesome. Cool. It was really cool. <laughs> was uh, so what else? Uh, Warp Tour Warped was Tour. Uh, in Scranton, Pennsylvania. It was their Scranton date. That was actually really, really fantastic. Long day. Started in the morning, went all the way till it was far past dark. hours. Well, let's give a shout out to some of the bands at, at Warp Tour. My friends in handguns, who I have seen go from the tiniest venue in Albany to one of the stages in Warped Tour, to me that is insane. Shout out to you, Brandon, for uh, helping us out, uh, getting into the show as well. Let's see, shout out to The Story So Far for always putting on an awesome show. Fantastic For set. never being rude to anybody. If I've ever met you, you've never been mean. Um, I really want to say that my favorite set from the whole show, and this is going back to when I was in high school, is the Ben Chiodos had an amazing set. Uh, and the overall vibe for that show was just pure, pure awesomeness. There was no negativity there at all. Here's a picture of Craig Owens performing on stage that I took at the Warp Tour. He looks brutal. We are 0074L. We've heard about Odd Future. Odd Future. Odd Future. It was odd. Kind of an odd, yeah, very odd futuristic show. Was it futuristic? It was really dark. All lights were red and or blue. Everyone was either screaming, crying, drinking, attempting to drink, or was too young to drink and were begging other people to buy them drinks. I was at the front of the crowd and uh, the pressure was so great that I instantly broke out into sweat up over every square inch of my skin. And I lost a uh, gauge and I believe I ripped my pants a little bit. That was the, uh, that was the, that was the takeaway from the crowd. Uh, I got hit in the head with a beach ball by Tyler within the first 30 seconds of the show starting and then he said, I'm sorry, full mouth to me mid-wrap and that was cool. <laughs> we ended up leaving early, but I feel like we did get a good takeaway from the entire show. Pretty standard show, nothing remarkable. I was a little bit underwhelmed just because I've seen such great footage from some of their uh, West Coast shows where they're obviously throwing things out in the crowd and there's fun balloons. And but also not a 800 cap venue. Right, so the, uh, the venue... is very small compared to that somebody of their size of a band or artist would probably prefer to book that. It was awesome because it was very up close and personal, but it was also not so awesome because it was so up close and personal. Those are the kind of bands you want to see. Step back on the stage, super big stage, crazy lighting, throwing water on all the people. Like. So, um, that's it? That's not it, yeah. I, I think mean, that's all we have for this week. We want to thank the Harmonic Series for allowing us to do this cool bit. We're really excited to be helping and doing a cool segment for you guys. Um, we should be doing this series every week. If you have a name for this series that you'd like to suggest, we're actually looking to name the series. So if you have any ideas, shoot them out to us in the comments, wherever you've seen the post, and uh, we'll see you next week. Andrew's Instagramming. <laughs>